What is up, Cratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Albany Primo, the regular one. Now, I did customize the Benny's custom variant about a year and a half ago. However, a lot of you guys wanted me to customize the regular variant in this video. So, this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one, and can be purchased from the Summers San Andreas website, or the Benny's website, for $9,000. Or, of course, you can get it off the street for free. And this car actually does offer some good customization, considering it's an OG car. Now, the Primo name was first introduced in GTA San Andreas, and was also featured in GTA 4, which is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, this vehicle is in the Sinan's class and is actually not as slow as you might think, making its way into top 10 on most tracks, which is pretty impressive. And to mention, the Primo Custom, which is the Benny's variant, is identical in terms of performance, but obviously the Primo Custom has all the crazy customization. But anyways, in terms of what the Primo is based on, is primarily based on the 4th gen Cadillac Seville, mixed with the Cadillac Elante. A very interesting combination for sure, but at least Rockstar kept it mostly 90s Cadillac inspired. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Primo. Alright, Primo, let's do it. Okay, so first thing I want to show here the Benny's upgrade for the Primo Custom for 400000 Obviously, we already did that <laughs> already in a previous video, um, so you want to see that one. But in this one, again, we are focusing on the regular Primo, which actually does have customization. Um, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. So armor, brakes, front bumpers. So you have a custom front bumper. You can see it. It, it, it doesn't just add a splitter. It actually adds, you know, a, a, it, it's... Looks like a different front bumper, honestly. I mean, it's a nice extension there. It's got some curvature on the edges, um, some extra vents below. It looks good. I like it. It doesn't look like it's tacked on. It looks like it's, you know, original looking. So that's, that's good. We'll do that. Rear bumper. So here you have a custom rear bumper. Looks pretty decent. A bit too low for my taste, but um, I guess it kind of goes with, you know, the front bumper that's a lot lower. So we'll do looks that. Um, engine will max out, has exhaust options too, so boom, you got the chrome tip exhaust, you have the big bore, and you have the titanium. Titanium I think is a bit much for a 90s Cadillac, even though we are doing more of a custom flare on it with these parts, but um, I think either the big bore or the chrome tip is going to be the way to go. I think the big bore kind of fills in that gap the best, so we'll do that. Okay, grill, so we have the chrome grill. Sports grill and the mesh. Okay, so give or take a few grill lines. <laughs> um, this one has a thicker one in the center. Interesting how they did this. Hmm. And they all have the logo, except for the last one, which removes the Albany script on the bottom right. Um, I think I'll go with the sports grill, to be honest. Let's do that. I feel like the mesh, I don't know, I think the mesh just looks weird. Even though it does kind of give it sort of that that um that Cadillac performance grill kind of like what came out in the CTS V's later on you know what we'll do the mesh grill we'll do the mesh grill okay um lights um I mean I could stick with the yellow but this was sort of you know uh mid late 90s inspired so the xenons could I will do it why not um plate I think I have a caddy plate somewhere here um, oh, there it is. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Respray. Um, so this car does have a very interesting looking secondary color, which I'm going to show first. So let's go to secondary. And look at the secondary color on this car. Very weird. Um, it's very strange. It almost reminds me of like the wood paneling placement, sort of, of like the older Cadillacs and station wagons and stuff. I don't know. I don't... I... And then on the bottom half to... Personally, I think it looks better just all one color. That's just my personal preference. I'm, I'm not a fan of this contrast of the secondary. So uh, let's go to primary. I'm going to throw on here a metallic. 
go down here to metallic diamond blue. Then for pearlescent, um, I want to go the other way. Oh, go this this way. And I, I think a ice white pearl will look really good on here. Oh yeah, ice white pearl. And then for secondary, you know, we, we could go with like a cream or something, but I just, I don't, or a white, I, I, I don't like, I think it's too much. It's too much contrast, my, my personal opinion. Maybe if it was only the bottom half, maybe, but that extra on top of that by the door handles and stuff, and then on the tail lights, I think it's just a little much. Just my personal, you know, preference there, but we're going to go ahead and do the diamond blue to match. Diamond blue. Grab level four of this car goes on the hood. Okay. Skirts. We got extended skirts to match our um rest of our body kit, I suppose. Looks pretty cool actually. Spoiler upgrades. So you have the stock duck tail, but that kind of stays, and then these get added. So you have a low level spoiler. Got some curvature to it, looks pretty decent. And then you have the high level spoiler, which I think is just too generic looking for this car. Um, too squared off. I think this one looks a little better. Even though personally I think it looks better without a spoiler, you know, in general. But um, this one doesn't look that bad, I suppose. So we'll do that. Suspension. We do have a crazy body kit on it. We might as well make it look even more custom. Uh, let's do the wheels first and then we'll come back to that. Transmission, turbo. Alright, continuing to the wheels here. Um, so I do kind of like the stock wheels. I think they look really unique on this car. Um, and if we go to the, I believe it's the street category, there's a wheel actually looks kind of similar to that um, in terms of a design. Oh, this one right here, the Aero Stars. I mean, if you look at it, it's got a pretty similar design, you know, with the triangular kind of um, spokes and stuff. See that? It's kind of kind of similar. And I kind of want to keep that look on here, but, you know, something that looks a bit brighter and more custom. So I think the Aero Star is going to be the move. Plus, the Aero Stars, they're not huge. So, like, the first, I think it's yeah, the first 15 or 14 if you don't count the stock wheel. So the, the first 14 wheels are like the tuner size, sort of. And then once you get past the, this one here and you go here, then they get huge. I think the, this size is just too big for this car. So Aero Star is the one I'm going to go with. Um, there is wheel color in between the spokes there, which I could do. Um, but I don't know. I don't think it looks right on this car. You know, like a blue or something. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna stick with the alloy, so it kind of just blends in. I'm gonna black. I think. Oh, you know what? The black doesn't look that bad, actually. Black or alloy? You know what? The black, because it, it kind of gives some depth to the spokes. Yeah, we'll do that. Windows definitely blacking them out, and then go back to the suspension. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we'll lower it. Why not? Kind of goes with the whole body kit vibe on here. So, all right, exit to ground. It looks cool. Not gonna lie, it looks different. I like it. It's kind of crazy, like all these hidden gems. You know, everybody just goes and buys. You know, the, the best of the best variant. You know, they buy this and they immediately convert it to the Benny's one. And you know, you, we kind of forget that a lot of these OGs did have this customization. So, all right, first person. What do we got in here? Copy and paste sedan interior, as to be expected. But we got primary color stitching on the steering wheel. Look at that. And the stitching there. Um, and the seats, too. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Sound. Let's see from the rear. Eh, yeah, this is reused from a lot of sedans and stuff and coupes. First person. Okay. Floor it. Rear wheel drive. Moves pretty good. Moves pretty good. Is this starting to rain in the game? What? <laughs> it moves pretty good, and like I talked about earlier, this thing is a top 10 car on some tracks. So, it's it's quick. It's not a slow car by any means. And the handling's actually pretty decent with the spoiler upgrade and stuff. I'm trying to get in some handling feedback before this rain takes over. It's like sprinkling? Very weird. Very weird. Yep, there's a the full rain. That sucks. <laughs> I didn't get to... I mean, the handling does, does feel great, though. I will say. Those few corners I did. Very stable. Very easy to drive. And it's quick, too. Not bad. First person here. Well, a little bit of air. 
the tail the tail lights are really cool I love the the full brake light look and you do the brakes here actually looks pretty sick what about the lights off oh does the whole thing sick that's awesome reverse lights are there almost reddish huh weird okay headlights high beams low beams oh that's a electrical box <laughs> all right let's uh, go up here and open all the doors and stuff Kind of interested to see the, um... It's like real life. You get away from the rain. <laughs> Alright. Park right here. Alright. So vehicle doors. Let's go all. Engine model. Yeah, they reuse this in a lot of different cars. Okay. Not the worst engine model. I mean, from a distance, it doesn't look that bad. Interior... Copy and paste it from a bunch of sedans and coupes. Trunk situation. Not terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's not not a bad... I mean, it's a free car. <laughs> and if you just want something to, to fill in a certain space, like if you're doing a sedan garage or whatever, um, you know, there's like something cool to consider. Uh, but obviously, you know, the Benny's variant has a much nicer interior and all that. I know that the upgrade's 400 grand, which seems pretty expensive, but... I feel like you're still getting a decent amount for your money, uh, but in terms of performance, they're both the same, so even though this is not really a car you buy for performance, you buy it for cruising and stuff, but yeah, I, I, I think it's cool. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. The Primo's definitely an OG, and I'm glad uh, we reviewed it, so anyways, guys, definitely let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next. Again, we're getting pretty close um, to customizing all the ones I have left, which the list is down below. In the comments of the ones I haven't done yet. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.